Today I would like to show you an interesting usage of rhfm.net beam based facility management solution. Imagine that you have a company which has three subsidiaries in different countries as in Austria, Slova Slovakia and Hungary. You want to know much more about the Hungarian subsidiary, that's why you uh, go closer to the site where your buildings are. In this case we are close to the Grafisot Park and here all the buildings which are in the park appearing in your window. Our company is in the building G and when I click on it uh, some basic information appear in the window as a picture of the building, uh, something about the areas and the handover process. When I want to know more then I click on the building and now the graphical representation of this building will be opened in Graphisoft's Archicad 17's version. This is our graphical uh, mo uh, module uh, in the CEFM solution and now all the floor plans and more information are opened and we can see a floor plan in the first floor. Now I'm changing the layer settings on the sailing because I'm interested in some basic information of an HVAC element of a fan coil. Now I'd like to see him in a 3D and that's why I open this place in 3D and I can now find this element with this blue color. Now from Archicad I open the web-based facility management solution our archfm.net. I log in in the system and now I'm selecting this element and say locate element in the menu to open the parameters of this element in hrefm.net. On the first parameter sheet you see what kind of parameters we are having from our HECAD and what we could add as facility management related information. For example in the description tab page you see that there are some uh, additional information added to this selected element as uh, a description about fan coils as a photo uh, which shows the fan coil before uh, closing the under ceiling and also we can see or add user guide as an attachment to this selected fan coil. The next tab page uh, is also very interesting for us because it shows the maintenance history of the selected element. As you see every row is one event which happened uh, and which was done on this element. Uh, you can see a different type of maintenance activities as breakdown or preventive act activities and uh, on the first view you can uh, with color and with uh, text also see what is the status of this uh, event. Now I also uh, able to give a new request to this element when I clicking on this uh, menu new request and a separate uh, window opens in which my personal uh, data is already filled out and also the equipment is automatically selected from the system. My task is only to add a, a problem description problem description and say OK and the new uh, maintenance uh, request is generated by me. When I refresh the information it will appear in the list of the uh, uh, events with a new request number and I'm able to go and uh, handle this event in rhfm.net. In case I'm interested in uh, the location of this element also only one click and it will show in the so-called physical structure the selected element. It means that I see the buildings, wings, floors and rooms and in this room is our equipment 
uh, place and all of this information is uh, generated with one click from the Archicad model. I will later on talk about this kind of uh, conversion. Thank you for your attention.